everybody, check it out. This is a 1974 Volkswagen Baja Bug. And in this video, we're gonna prove that this is the most fun you can have on four wheels. These things are completely awesome. Volkswagen makes cars to last. And the VW is built to take a little punishment. It's a wild ride. It's just simply the thrill of challenging Mother Nature, storming through the bushes. That's where the kick is. The next day, you're sore all over, but it's worth it. Even when a Volkswagen looks like it's over the hill, there's a lot of life in the old front yet. Now, the genesis of the Baja Bug was really surf culture back in California many, many, many decades ago. Volkswagens were everywhere, and of course, Bruce Myers of the infamous Meyer Manx decided to take one, shorten it, put on this really cool custom fiberglass body, and then take it zooming around in the sand. And ever since then, there's been an enormous community around taking Volkswagens and making them off-road worthy, which I think is just kind of hilarious because these were kind of just normal economy cars in the 50s and the 60s and the 70s. It'd be like taking a Hyundai Elantra and putting in on big tires and then slicing off the fenders and going zooming up through Glamis. That's just like, you don't do that. But that just goes to prove how flexible the Volkswagen platform was way back in the day. Now, of course, the Volkswagen did evolve a lot. All right, maybe a little. All right, maybe not at all between the 1930s and like the late 1970s here in the US. Um, but really there are two primary versions of the Volkswagen Beetle that were sold in the States. There was the standard Beetle and the Super Beetle. And no, the Super Beetle was no faster. It didn't have jet packs or turbos or anything. The difference between a standard Beetle and a Super Beetle is primarily the front suspension. Super Beetles have what they call a McPherson strut setup where um, these Standard Beetles have a torsion beam, and this is actually the first thing you want to look for if you are trying to build yourself a Baja Bug. You want to find a Standard Beetle with this torsion beam front suspension. It's uh, way more durable than what Super Beetles had when you take them off-road. It's also very easy to modify, very easy to beef up, and that is key when it comes to building your first Baja. So once you have found yourself the right standard bug, you gotta decide which direction do you wanna go in because Baja's range an enormous kind of uh, spectrum of designs and styles. So you've got like the iconic Manx design, right? Where you shorten it and do that full fiberglass body, remove basically the entire top half of the Volkswagen. You've got sand rails, which is basically a bit of scaffolding with a Volkswagen engine in the back. And then you've got a design like this, which is typically called a Baja bug, where you keep a lot of the overall design and the structure of a Volkswagen, but then you change stuff like the hood and the fenders and the front clip. And once you decide to go this route, you have to make the decision, do you want to have the inboard headlights or the outboard? So a lot of folks put them out here in the fenders, kind of like they were originally. This one has the conversion to the, uh, the front, the middle here. And I think that this looks really, really cool. Now, one thing which is pretty common across just about every Volkswagen Baja is the complete lack of a rear end. <laughs> so typically you take off the rear apron and the rear fenders and then you have the engine exposed to the elements. And then it's always a good idea to go ahead and build yourself a crash structure back here. But this is great. You got a lot of airflow to everything. These are air-cooled engines, right? Um, maybe reduce some of that, that potential beauty body work which can get torn off off-road. And then build yourself a nice little structure so that when your friend, uh, inevitably miscalculates the jump he takes behind you, you're not gonna take out your entire engine. Now Volkswagen Bajas have a huge variety of engines. An early car from like the 50s might have a very original engine which has been untouched, but most of them have been kind of upgraded for speed and reliability and go fast goodies. And this is no exception. So 74, this would have had like a 1600 cc Volkswagen engine. Uh, I've been told though that this one's upgraded to 1776. So one cubic centimeter per uh, year of our country's foundation, which I think is pretty funny. Um, but like lots and lots of stuff you can do to this. So for example, this one has a very aftermarket exhaust with these really cool headers and then that stinger that just shoots straight up there in the back. But if you look a little closer, it's got a bunch of changes. So like, this is where your mechanical fuel pump would have gone. That has been replaced with an electric one. It's got an aftermarket carburetor on it. Uh, you can see over here, we've got a oil filter. The Volkswagens never actually had oil filters. They had these little mesh things underneath, which would kind of capture little bits of sticks and twigs in your oil. But this is probably a good upgrade. Um, aftermarket valve covers. If you look underneath there, it's got aftermarket oil coolers. Um, the, uh, the crank pulley's been changed so you can really dial in your timing. 
um, the only real way to know if it's a 1776 would be to kind of tear it apart and pull the heads off and do some measuring around there. But it is pretty cool the number of things you can do to these Volkswagen engines to really soup them up and get a little bit more power out of them. They're, uh, they're very customizable and parts are super cheap. Now one of the nice things about sticking with the original Volkswagen body shell is you actually have a real roof. So if it rains or drizzles, you're not gonna get completely drenched like in a sand rail or in a, a Myers Megs kind of design. But overall, I mean, once again, this is pretty much standard Volkswagen here. 74, we got the safety steering wheel with, you know, that nice little cushion so that when you slam into it, you're not gonna, well, you're probably gonna die still, but it's gonna be a little more comfortable death. Um, it's got the original gauge in it with speeds up to 100 miles an hour. I've had a couple of Volkswagens that I've never seen 100 mile an hour speedometer. Mine have always been older. I think 100 is probably a little optimistic. Bold, depending on who you ask. But uh, yeah, very standard Volkswagen interior. Lots of stuff you can do to in here. Um, custom audio systems, change the door panels, change the seats, carpet kits, whatever you want to do, you can probably do on the inside of a Volkswagen. This one also has a fire extinguisher, which is always a good thing to have. So most of these Baja builds will use an extensive amount of fiberglass. So like this is a fiberglass hood, fiberglass front clip, fiberglass front fenders. That's pretty common. Um, I mean, you can do them out of steel, but it gets a lot more expensive really quickly. Let's check out what is under the hood. <laughs> the quickest opening hood in the industry. So um, a Super Beetle will have a very different front end with of course some McPherson struts here. And they're just not as durable when you're off off-roading but check this out you got your typical Volkswagen rat's nest that is not aftermarket that's pretty much how it would have been from the factory and yeah a little bit of storage space with your fuel tank in the front because the engine's in the back so this Baja Bug is rolling on a set of 30 by 9.5 R15 wheels and tires. Really cool design. I love these aluminum wheels. It just looks great. Um, now the thing about Bajas, right, is it's pretty affordable to make them look really cool, but really expensive to make them handle like the Baja 500. So when you start diving into suspension and, and how you dial those in for like long distance off-road races, that kind of stuff adds up super, super, super quickly. But to make one of these kind of look cool and, you know, zoom around in the dirt fairly well, you can do it for typically well under 10K. I think Brendan paid even under four or three grand for this guy. So it's definitely an affordable way to have a lot of fun um, out in the dirt. <laughs> so Brendan, where did you find this thing? Uh, another Facebook marketplace find, believe it or not. Another Facebook marketplace find, huh? <laughs> and it was just like some dude owned it? Yeah, I think it, all right, I'm giving up on that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I guess it got traded to him with some sand rail and uh, he didn't really want this so he kept the sail, sand rail and gave this to me. And uh, I guess he wanted to keep the sand rail but just didn't want this and it hadn't run in like two years. But uh, yeah, nice. well, sold it to me. Well, this is really cool. I mean, the cool thing about this ride is it's by no means pristine, yeah. but it's in a condition where you can kind of drive it around, um, have some fun with it, but not worry about like parking it anywhere. Yeah, you know? exactly. I mean, that's the kind of nice thing about this is it's all dented and dinged and it's got a little bit of rust and the interior is not the best, so. Who cares? Yeah, whatever happens to it happens. <laughs> what the heck? Is it a horn work? <laughs> yeah, the horn works. <laughs> so, so, I think this is funny. So, let me show you this. So that, I think, uh, is, you hear this noise when you turn the key? That's either the fuel pump or the blower fan, but there's no switch actually to turn the blower fan off. <laughs> So we're just gonna deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> just makes it a little more noisy. <laughs> Gives it some more character. All right, yeah. you ready? Oh! <laughs> I Dude, love this thing. <laughs> sounds freaking cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Feel like it's got a little bit more pep than it would have originally had. I think so, for sure. Now, if you've never driven a Volkswagen, they are the easiest cars to drive. Yeah. They're just super forgiving about anything. The clutches are easy, the shifting's easy. It's just a fantastic thing to drive. And initial impression, you know, the ride is really well sorted on this thing. Did you do anything to the suspension? I have not. This is, I just kind of got it this way. Uh, did a little bit of exhaust work, carburetor, and a few other things, but oh, suspension dude. is just how it came. I've driven a bunch of 1600 bucks. This has got a lot more power than a 1600. Yeah. I, I think that this is probably been 
pretty massaged over the years. Yeah, that's that's what I've been told. This is the only beetle I've ever driven. But, oh, yeah. Uh, I guess the other ones don't feel this, this quick. No, not <laughs> anywhere near this quick. This thing is freaking awesome. We're cruising through this field at a good 20 miles an hour right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's just taking it. Dude, it does really well. Yeah. Brakes leave, leave a little to be desired. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, this thing's great. This would be so fun. I'm like, bring it to some sand dunes, you know? Oh, yeah. Wouldn't that be an absolute riot? That'd be a blast. No, and the cool thing, too, is there's not a whole lot to break on a Volkswagen. Ooh, no. by the hole. <laughs> well, and when things do break, they're cheap. They're cheap. <laughs> Super cheap. Yeah. All right. Let's give it some power down the back stretch here. Oh, yeah, this is a fast bug. <laughs> This is an uber fast bug. Let's find the hole. Whee! <laughs> then uh, it's fun. I need one of these. Oh yes, everybody needs a, a Baja bug in their life. Absolutely. I'm happy to have one in mine. I bought this as a flip, but uh, I just love driving it so much. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it. I, I do too. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't know about relying on this as a daily. <laughs> well, it has broken down on you a number of times, right? Yeah, I think this is what the third time we've tried to film this video. <laughs> That's okay, it's all part of the character. Right? <laughs> Freaking awesome, yeah. I enjoyed that so much. Yeah, sure, good to see you again. Now I do have to say, as much as I do like me the originality of like an unrestored, you know, survivor bug, this thing is way more fun, <laughs> you know? It's just like, you can zoom in and around everywhere, you can take speed bumps at 50 miles an hour, and it's just an absolute blast. So, uh, I'd be tempted, like, if I only had a few thousand to spend on a Volkswagen, you know, don't go for the original one that's like, you know, beautifully preserved. Do this, you're gonna have more fun with it, you're gonna get more smiles and laughs, and it sounds freaking cool. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video.